Okay, well, as comfortable as you're going to be? Yeah? Okay. Hi, everyone, and welcome to the Pup Mommy. And I share with you my over 30 years of a practical, hands-on experience of what it's like to own, love, and care for dogs. Now, today's video deals with question number six. Are you ready for the time and emotional commitment of owning a puppy? One of the main reasons that pups are surrendered to shelters is because people do not realize and or they underestimate the time commitment that a puppy takes. This is where I take you back to the first video that I made and the question that I asked, are you ready for a baby? And as the baby grows, as the puppy grows, are you ready for a child? And if you can honestly answer no, then a puppy is not for you. Puppies are, <laughs> they're like teens <laughs> and mobile phones because they're always on. <laughs> and puppies, when they're not sleeping, can really drive you crazy. In fact, most dogs can, especially when you're bonded to them like I am. Uh, they'll nudge you with their toys when you're on a computer. They'll put their heads in your lap. They keep pawing you to get attention until you play with them. They'd be sitting at the door, by the door, looking for a Lorne until you let them out, which of course leads me to my favorite saying, let me out so I can come in again. Let me in so I can go out again. <laughs> and with my pups, they all never go in and out at the same time. So with a puppy, even as it grows into the dog, you'll never go to the bathroom alone. They're always underfoot, especially when you're making dinner. Unless, of course, you put them in a crate or their playpen or you tell them place. The puppies will need to be fed two, three times a day, be taken out more frequently to relieve themselves. And then, of course, they'll need to be brushed, groomed, you know, bathed, unless you take them to a groomer. And then you'll have the dog beds to vacuum and the wash. And if you allow the pups on the furniture, then, you know, you've got the furniture throws and the bedding to add to that laundry list. Ah, but wait, there's more. <laughs> Keeping the dog water bowls clean and full, vacuuming, sweeping, mopping the floors, especially in the fall and winter when the muddy paw prints come across. And if you have carpets, well, that's a whole other story and we're not even going to go there. I'm trying to keep them clean from stains, odor, dog hair. Whether you have a backyard or you use puppy pads or you walk the dog, you're going to have to pick up and dispose of the waste. Then you'll be taking them, the little puppies, to the vet for their puppy vaccinations, annual wellness exams. And now in addition to all that craziness, uh, if you have a backyard, flowers, shrubs, vegetable gardens, then you have potentially other worries <laughs> because some plants are poisonous while others are nice and good and tasty and so attractive that they'll be eaten or dug up before you can say the words eaten or dug up. And I trust me, and your hands will be forever taking stuff out of the puppy's mouth. Unless, of course, you don't, uh, then you might be facing a sizable vet bill. I kid you not. So bottom line, folks, whether you own one dog, two dogs, puppies, or four dogs, or whatever, you won't need a gym membership to keep you fit. And on that note, I want to thank you for watching and hope that you were able to find some help in this video as you make the decision whether to bring a puppy into your life. If you would like some assistance in deciding what would be the best puppy for you and your family, or you have additional questions maybe that I haven't covered and you'd like to speak on a one-to-one -one basis, I'll leave a link in the description um, information with my contact information. And also I'll leave a link to the brief video, The Gift, which I do with all my videos, which has over 39 million YouTube views. It's the story about a dog adoption, which started out very happily and then went south. So if you're serious about adopting a pup, this is a must watch video. It's very brief, only five minutes. So please join me for the next installment, video number seven. We're almost at the end. And that video will be, Are You Ready for the Cleaning and Maintenance of Owning a Puppy? So thank you for watching. Don't forget to click subscribe. And we'll see you at the next video installment. Bye for now.